What is going on everybody? So you're about to leave for basic training or maybe you're just curious in general but you want to know how you're going to send and receive mail at basic training. So I always kind of love doing videos like this that are just very simple just like basic training topic videos. And one of the things I haven't really talked about that much, I covered it a little bit in a video for family members and how they're going to actually communicate with their soldiers at basically. I talked a little bit about the mail, but in this video, I'm going to cover really in detail, just everything you need to know. So if you're leaving for basic training and you wanna know when you're gonna to get to mail home, how that whole process is going to work with you actually sending home letters or whatever, or your family member sending you mail, I'm gonna talk about that in this video. Because it's a short video, I wanna go ahead and mention the sponsor of this video that's not really sponsored this video, but VPN. If you guys did not know, VPN has the best supplements in the entire world. The link in the description, use code WORD for 10 percent off. So if you go to basic training, you can't have supplements there. You just have to wait a little bit, but when you get to AIT, make sure you order yourself some VPN supplements because that is something that you can do. You can just go ahead, order some protein, pre-workout, creatine, all the, all the goodies, all the good stuff. But let's circle it back a little bit. One of the questions that I get from people is like, when's like the soonest that you can actually mail home? And basically what happens whenever you leave to go to base training is you go to reception and you're gonna be there it really is from like three days to a week and that's usually kind of the time frame that they want to give you it kind of just depends on when you fall in with the cycle but when you get to reception if you brought letters with you if you brought a, a pen or pencil um, and stamps things like that then you can go ahead and just start writing your own letters then and there at reception at the end of the day when everything's done you're laying in your bunk you can just go ahead and start writing home you can write letters every day if you want to now for me at basic training or really at reception we couldn't actually send out mail while we were at reception and i think that's the case for pretty much everywhere although i don't know that for a hundred percent fact but i'm just going to go ahead and say that at reception you're not going to be able to actually send out mail because whenever you send out mail you have to have a return address and your address at reception at the reception battalion that you'll be staying at is not the actual address that you're going to be at once you actually go to the basic training building where you're going to be staying at for the remainder of basic then whenever you get to actually you actually get to basic training right it's a little bit different reception basic training when you get to basic training the first thing that's going to happen whenever you go up to your platoon area is the drill sergeants are going to give you your address and they're going to say hey here's your address and then this is going to be where you get your first phone call home or really your second phone call home if you did the first one at reception so the first one at basic training the first phone call at basic training i'm going to distinguish that um, that is going to be whenever you get your address and you're going to be able to tell your family members hey this is the address you guys can go ahead and start sending me mail so if you're on the family side of this at this point you can send them mail before the first week or so while they're at reception they're not going to know what address to send to so if you go to like fort jackson or something where you can they can use their cell phone at uh, reception then they're not going to know what address to send mail to but when they get to basic the first thing you're going to get is the mailing address now when you get that then you're obviously going to be able to tell your family members your family members are going to be able to send you mail and then if you don't have any mail materials if you can't just borrow them from a battle buddy or something then you're going to go to the px so there's going to be like a little small px where all of the new basic training soldiers they're going to go to it and they're going to get all the little standard issue stuff like soap and shampoo or uh, toothbrushes, just like very, very basic things. And at that point, you can go ahead and look in there and go find yourself some letters and things like that. When you're at basic training and you actually want to send out mail, there's obviously, there's gonna be different ways that the drill sergeants can collect it. But essentially at the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, throughout the day, at least for us, there was basically a container, a place where we could put our mail, where we could turn in the mail that we want to be sent out. And at some point in time, again, it could vary, you know, based on your platoon, based on your drill sergeant, however your drill sergeant wants to collect the mail. But essentially, you're just gonna give the drill sergeant your mail. You're not gonna go to a mailbox or anything like that. You're not gonna go to the post office or anything. You're going to give the letter, sealed, signed, stamped, all that stuff to the drill sergeants. And then the drill sergeants, whenever they want to, they're gonna do it in the mornings or at the end of the day, whatever, they're going to then go and actually send it out 
to the basic training kind of post office area. And then while they're doing that, they're also going to be picking up the mail that has been received. So uh, really after about a week or so, you should start to receive mail from family members. It's not gonna be like two days or something that like if you were to send something on the civilian side, it's not gonna be quite as fast as that because there's a little bit extra processing that they have to do for receiving mail. There's a lot, there's, it's very complicated. There's a whole lot of soldiers, a whole lot of platoons, battalions, and stuff like that. So things are gonna take a little bit longer. So I would say at least a week or so for your letter to actually reach the soldier. But whenever the drill sergeant goes to send out mail, they're going to end up receiving the mail. And then if there is mail, they are going to issue it out to people. So again, this can kind of vary a little bit based on how the drill sergeants want to do this. But really, we kind of had like a mail time in a sense every day. And the drill sergeant, they would have the little container thing of all of the mail and they would just throw it and pass it out to all the different soldiers that got mail. They would look at the name and say, hey, here's your mail and my drill sergeant and they tossed it at us. I do wanna note here that they're not going to inspect and read and, and do all that stuff with your letters. If you just send a, a normal plain old letter that's not really thick with a whole bunch of stuff in it, then the drill sergeants aren't going to open it. But if you do happen to send potentially like a whole bunch of pictures or if you just have a bunch of stuff in um, an envelope, they are going to ask the soldiers to open it, see what it is, make sure it's not any like bubble gum or anything like that, and then you're gonna be good to go. They're not gonna be sitting there reading out loud your letter unless like you give them permission to do that for some weird reason. Now, if you happen to receive a package, like a box, a care package that I talked about in a previous video that I just did, then you're gonna have to open that up again, right there in front of the drill sergeant. They're gonna have to see what is inside, make sure you're not getting any contraband, which contraband is basically just banned things that you can't have. That could be knives, that could be uh, picture, like pictures, not pictures, like magazines, that could be uh, food, right? There's a whole bunch of different things that be, can be considered contraband at basic training. Like very, very simple stuff that you may not consider it, but make sure you watch the care package video if you wanna know what you can and cannot send. And then as far as if you wanted to like send a package home, I'm pretty certain that you can't do that. I don't see a reason why you would need to send a package home, but you're really just gonna be sending letters home. So you're gonna be sending letters home, that's how you're gonna do it. You're gonna be sending it, giving it to your drill sergeant, giving it to your platoon leader, however that kind of chain of command is gonna work because it could potentially be like, hey, every at the end of the day, we're going to give our letters to the squad leader. The squad leader is gonna give it to the platoon leader and the platoon leader at the end of the day is gonna give all of the letters from that day to the drill sergeant and then the drill sergeant like in the morning or something would deliver it. So there's, you know, different um, standard operating procedures for how that could happen, but essentially they're gonna collect mail every day, they're going to issue out mail every day, unless you are in the field. So if you're in an FTX, right, so you're out in the woods, you're doing your own little patrol things that they do, basic training, you're in the forge or whatever, you're not going to be getting mail as frequently as you would be if you were in the barracks. So I just want you guys to keep that in mind. And then also, if you're in like the last couple of weeks of basic training, if you're watching this and maybe you have a soldier at basic training, I would say if they have like two weeks left of basic training, I would just go ahead and cut off the letter sending because you could just end up sending them a letter, especially if you're sending them a package. I just wouldn't do that because it could get delayed. Like I said, things could take a little bit of time. They could get delayed. And then if they graduate from basic training and they leave to go to their AIT before the package gets there, then the package is basically lost. And that does happen. Like when you go to basic training, you're gonna see that whenever they're issuing out mail or they're gonna get mail, there's gonna be a lot of mail from people that are, that's basically wrong addresses. They're gonna be mail from people who has already graduated because maybe their family members, like I said, sent it too late. So if they're like five days away from graduating and they send them a care package, don't do that because they're probably not gonna get it. But that is gonna be it for this video about how you are going to send and receive mail at basic training. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. That would be awesome. If you wanna check out some more of my videos, hit the subscribe button. That would be even better. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat if you haven't already. I haven't been posting quite as much since my son has been born, but I'll probably post some more updates with him just growing. It's just, I've been, I've been enjoying the whole thing and I haven't really been caring about social media for a while now since he's been born. But follow my Instagram and Snapchat once I start doing more posts and update on that. I hope you guys have an amazing freaking day and I'll see y'all later. Yeah.